Remember this little guy? We're gonna paint him today. All right. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is mix ourselves up some paint. After we decide what basic color we want him to be. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is I'm gonna take some white and some metallic white because I want it to have a slight pearlescent quality uh, with the base coat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do mostly white with a, just a drop of metallic white. Now that we've got our paint mixed up, we're ready to start. It's pretty straightforward. Just keep some paint on your brush and start putting it on. Can't see much of a difference right now because I'm painting a white mask white. But there'll be a definite dis difference when I'm all done with it. Since I mixed some of that metallic white in, it'll have a slight shimmer. And we'll want to go ahead and do this for, oh, give it two or three coats of your base color. You want to go ahead and get over any little weirdnesses. Now this whole mask is kind of weird, so I'm obviously not going to paint this one till it's smooth, because I don't even think I have that much paint. But you'll definitely be able to tell when you've got enough paint on. Now if you're painting it a dark color, you're definitely going to want to use more paint because the white will show through the dark and it'll be all streaky. Uh, if you get that, the first couple of coats, that's perfectly normal. You just let it dry a little bit and keep putting coats on until it's a solid color. All right, now that our base coat is mostly dry, what I wanna do is I'm gonna paint his nose to kind of look like a skull. I think that would be really cool. This is what I have so far. Okay, now that we've got his nose pretty much where we want it, what I'm gonna do is shade in his eyes a little bit more. Kinda give him a more scully sort of look. And you see what we've got right here. It's already starting to come together a little bit better. Okay, this is what we have so far. Now we're going to give him some teeth. So we're going to take our detail brush, only put a little bit on, <clears throat> and have some fun giving him teeth. What we're going to want to do is leave a gap in the middle, and we'll actually want to paint his teeth clear out here because he's the skeleton. Now that we got him decently skeleton-like, I'm going to go ahead and take the inside and paint it black. Okay, we got them all painted up. We got the back all done. I'm just going to add a little bit of black under here under the cheekbones because I think the face is just a little too full. So we'll just add a little black right here. Like so. Give him a little more, you know, gaunt and skeletonish look. Okay. Now we've all painted him up. He looks pretty good. It's time to let him dry. Why must we stay? 